Okay, so let's get started with the basics, which is your website design. This gives you a certain amount of flexibility so that you can have your homepage be gorgeous and unique. And what I love is that you can add uh, specific building blocks. And the other thing I love is that when I was originally with Squarespace, back in the day, um, it was very mobile responsive. And that's the one thing that was challenging for me with ClickFunnels is that um, it just didn't seem to be quite as flexible for me, even though they're amazing and they give you a great preview window for uh, doing things on mobile. It just didn't feel as chic to me. So now that I'm with Kajabi and uh, have been able to test things out with my phone, I find it to be much more fluid as well. So I hope that you really enjoy that feature too. So here is your website design. You can go in and preview here and that'll give you a nice look as to what your homepage is going to look like for everybody. So yay. So all these different pieces were built inside of the software. I really enjoy that I can have my offers here on my homepage. I like that I can have a little uh, Q&A of where people should start, that there's little calls to action. And I love being able to put what I've been featured in here. That was a huge, um, exciting surprise for me. And I really enjoy being able to make this little video background. That was cool too, uh, just because I tend to be very visual. So that's great. I have an exit pop-up up um, so very basic but it totally works you can manage your themes here you can look at your specific navigation here. so let's go through that really quick the theme uh, is as default premier site i find that to work really well and from the articles that i've researched um, it's the one that kajabi has found converts the best so i definitely wouldn't spend a lot of time here adjusting things because then you're going to be looking at different themes and just a nightmare so instead just customize your colors and your fonts and that should be plenty for uh, getting things set up. And then last but not least, navigation. I'm gonna be working in here too, adding my different terms and uh, putting my different links in here. So that is all customizable, easy. And then in terms of the home page, we're gonna go over here and customize. This is where you will get started. Okay, so here's the basic. This is the live look of what it's going to look like. You can say I have a little announcement up here. Um, easy to edit every little piece. You can just click edit and it'll bring it up right here for you to adjust like so. So that's really nice. You can put your logo in here or just type your name, whatever you wanna do. Um, so here's the different sections. And if you want to add a different section, you would go down to the bottom and click add section. And it's going to bring up a bunch of different things. And what I love is that you can say click on it because you want to see it. It's going to add it to the bottom so you can see what it looks like. And if you like it, you can click add. If not, just keep going. So you have assessments, you have blog posts, uh, countdown timer, which is great, call to action like that custom content. So if you want to put a different section in there, it allows you to do so. Facebook comments, which is really cool. Specific features, which is at the top of my website. Your heading. Hero section, which is the top, which had the moving background. If you want a stagnant image. If you want an image gallery. Pretty right. A link list. So that's right there. A logo list, which is what I was telling you about. Love that and then offers, which is what I have right up here. I'm an opt-in form. I'm thinking about this. It's not quite as clean as I'd like it to be, but I still like it. Opt-in form bar. So that's just a little bit more basic, but can take up a little less room. Pricing options, nice and chic. Showcase, if you wanna showcase a specific product. Slideshows, which is handy dandy a spacer, which I never think you would need because they put a lot of spacing between their segments. I actually wish I could adjust this. This is one of the things I do really like about ConvertKit is that you can manually adjust spacing. You can't do that here, unfortunately. Testimonials, love that too. Um, the one thing that you do need to know is that if you have a video testimonial, uh, it's gonna come in as a, like, let me bring it up like this, and you're going to have to choose a background image. It doesn't just choose a default of the video, which is a bummer. So you're going to have to go and actually take a still if like you're interviewing someone or someone's giving you a video testimonial or have like an image of that person. Another thing I'm not too crazy about, but it's not a deal breaker. You can have text, text and image. This is the video I was telling you about. So if you do not uh, upload something, it's going to have this default image. 
Boo. Maybe they'll adjust that in the future though. And then a video embed. So this might be a fix. Um, I wanted to natively upload everything through uh, Kajabi because they use Wistia, which is really high quality. But if I wanted to, I could just grab the uh, embed code from Vimeo and pop it in here. So that's something I may also do in the future. So those are the different segments. I'm going to move my picture right here because down here you can see that it says index. So index means uh, piecing a page together. So that's what all these different segments are for. But if you wanted to go to a different page on your website, you could do that here. I'm not going to do that right now. Okay, so we've looked at the different segments of being able to build your site. So you would just manually add them and then drag them. So for example, we're going to go back here we go. So I could, if I wanted to, I could move my video down, but I'm going to leave it up at the top just because it's a nice, cute little brand video. Uh, but if I wanted to bring it down to like there, I could pop it there. So you can move things down very fluidly, which is wonderful. Um, and you can have little call to action buttons here. You can put in, go to a URL or go to a specific landing page or sales page that you've set up. So that's really nice too. You can open a two-step opt-in pop-up. That's great. And if you're interested in those pop-ups, those are going to be down here. So you have the footer, so you can adjust that. Um, then you have the exit pop-up. You can enable that. And then you have a two-step opt-in as well. So you can figure out, okay, am I going to show that? Where am I going to show that? And what form is that going to be? So handy, a lot of things that you can do with your homepage. I hope that that made basic sense to you. And then uh, what you can do is you can preview it, check it out, work with the design, see what you think. Um, and then if you want to work with the color and all that kind of stuff, then you can go in here and go into customize. I think I'm right. I may not be right. Into settings. Let me bring this down again. Here we go. So your favicon, that is what occurs. I don't know if you can see my full screen, but you see this little thing right here? That's a favicon. So when people have tabs open, it's a great place to put a little photo of you or your logo if it's small so that people know that that is your tab. So that's handy. Love that. Type typography where you can adjust the font and how everything looks. Color scheme, huge. So that's my primary color. That's why this is that color. Then you can have an offset, dark, darker, and page background. I left this be, uh, as a little bit off white because I do find it to be a little easier on the eye. So that worked great. Color scheme, message colors. So um, you can adjust this if you want to. So for example, this isn't my exact brand color. So I could go in here to the hex code and put in, yeah, that's right. That and my yellow is a little bit different. So I could go in put that in there and the gray doesn't really bother me for info. So see, handy. Okay. Then you can go into password recovery, password reset, and I don't use disqueeze, but if you do, you can adjust that here as well. So that is pretty much, let's save everything. That is the basic overview of designing your website with Kajabi, a lot simpler than you thought, I hope. And what's great is that people can always click up here when they uh, go to your homepage and log into their accounts. So you're not having to have them remember different URLs, which I was having to do for like the visibility summits and the visibility lounge. They can just go to visibilityvixen.com and click their account and log in and they can see everything they've bought under me. So really excited about that feature. Can't wait for you to build out your website. Feel Feel free to comment below so that I can see it. Would love to. And if you've been on the fence about Kajabi and you are officially pushed over into the green grass of beyond, please use my affiliate link because then you will have your own support group. Really excited. See you later.